developing tonight. A damaging break in at a local nail salon goes beyond just burglary. And police are now investigating as a hate crime after hateful speech was spray painted on the inside. And Ariel Harrison is live from the salon that's been boarded up since the break in. Ariel. That's right. The owner's daughter described extensive damage here at the salon from the break in. In fact, you can see the front door boarded up where the glass was shattered and then inside spa sinks were ripped out. Workstations ravaged all amounting to around $15,000 in damage costs. Now between all of that, though, what's most notable is a hateful message that was left behind. It's something that has community members saying there is no place for it here. Since we got here, we've been encountering nothing but friendly people. It's Nayeli Trujillo's first trip to Utah. As she prepares to go home, she says her overall experience was quite the opposite of this message sent to this Salt Lake nail salon. I don't know why they would write something like that. The salon owner's daughter shared these photos of the damage from early Thursday morning. Salt Lake police responded to a witness call reporting the crime as it happened. The act of breaking into this uh, business and causing a lot of property destruction, and then we discovered a hate-fueled phrase. And so based on that information that we have right now is why the decision has been made to investigate this as a hate crime. What message do we send as a community with Salt Lake elevating this to an investigation into a hate crime. Don't think that you're going to go and do crimes like this and just get away with it. Janetta Williams, president of the Salt Lake chapter of the NAACP, says she was saddened to hear about this new case. What have you heard? Well, I heard that it was a uh, Vietnamese Asian shop and that the the owners was really shocked when they had gotten the call that they had been vandalized. Williams helped write the hate crime bill that's now a law in Utah. Work both she and Trujillo say sends an equally strong message to any hate-filled actions. We want to make sure that people aren't afraid to, to you know, work in the areas. They're not afraid to move here and live here and work here. They should be protected at, at, at any cost, at any level, because it could happen to my family or anybody else's family. Now, coming back out here live, authorities are looking for three men connected to this crime. Investigators ask for businesses if they have security cameras to look at footage dating back to Thursday morning, right before 3 a.m., so just last week. And if they have any information connected to what happened here, to send that in, get in touch with Salt Lake Police. Reporting live from downtown, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.